What a beauty airfield this evening. Currently just looking for a good place to pop this a memorial bouquet. It's been sent to me by the Free Czechoslovak Air Force Association. And the idea is to find somewhere at Beaulieu Airfield where I can place it. Sing a beer and tribute to the men of the Free Double One Czechoslovak Squadron who flew from this airfield in the New Forest from May 1943 to February 1944. Currently just walking down what would have been one of the runways and behind me it extends a bit further down. It was an A-class airfield, there were three runways. This was one of the major ones. Um, the Free Double One Czechoslovak Squadron, as the name suggests, was made up of airmen from Czechoslovakia. Those men had escaped from German-occupied Europe, come to Britain, and uh, the Free Double One, or the Czech Air Force rather, was formed, I think 1940. The idea was those Czechoslovak airmen could take the fight to Germany from Britain, because Czechoslovakia was occupied at the time. Now during their time at Bewley, they had a lot of success, but also the Free Double One had one of the highest rates of casualties, sadly. Um, 31 Czechoslovak airmen flying out of Bewley lost their lives, and actually a large number of those died within a, just a three mile radius of this airfield. Um, so it's a scene of a lot of tragedy. But there was also successes. So um, the Free Double One Squadron were responsible for the sinking of the Alster Rufa. That was a German blockade runner. I think it was coming from Japan, laden with supplies for Germany. Um, but the Free Double One Squadron, in one of their uh, American-made liberators, took off, engaged them, and ended up sinking it. Now, that was also made possible by the code breakers at Bletchley Park, who've managed to um, break the code of the Kriegsmarine, the German Navy, and then the Free Double One Squadron were able to go out and sink the Alster Rufa, because that was their job. They were, they were out over the Atlantic, um, hunting for German U-boats, Bay of Biscay, they were very active over too. So lots of heroics happened from this airfield with those Czechoslovaks. But as you can see, with these guys joining me now, Beauty Airfield has rather been returned to nature. Hello, donkey. So there we go. So what I'm gonna do is find a good place, perhaps with the help of my friend here, where this can be put down. So I feel it should probably be on one of the runways. I think I found a good spot. Um, I'm at the intersection, or one of the intersections where the three runways cross from this A-class airfield. So we've got one behind me, there, there, and then back up that way. So undoubtedly, the uh, Free Double One Squadron's um, Liberator aircraft would have crossed this section, they would have taken off from here, and those various operations that they did of the Atlantic. Now from memory, just up ahead, there's the remains of a light fitting which would have illuminated the airfield. And in fact, we can walk just up onto what would have been a path track running next to the runway. Now I'm not going to actually leave this on the ground in the New Forest because it's made of plastic. Um, and actually when you've got guys like this behind me, they're inquisitive little souls, and they might want to chew it. I feel this could also be a good spot to take a photo, because whilst it doesn't look like it now, um, we're actually stood on what would have been one of the dispersal pans for the airfield. So the Liberators of Free Double One Squadron, one of them at least, would have been parked in this area now. And as you can see, totally reclaimed by nature, because the airfield was pulled up and dismantled from 1959 to 1960. So there's not much evidence of it left now, but you see the occasional piece of brickwork and actually there's some just down there on the floor. So yeah, this was a dispersal ground, but now it has trees growing from it. I'm now on the last remaining piece of actual concrete tarmac runway, this small section at Beauty Airfield. Um, it's the only part that remains here and I thought that was a good place to get some more photos. With regards to this little piece of runway, it was actually strengthened and possibly widened, I'm not sure, but definitely strengthened in the 1950s by the Americans because Beauty Airfield was being considered as a heavy bomber base during that Cold War period. It never actually happened 
um, but that's why you've got this bit of runway and the other lighter piece of runway section behind me. And then I think tomorrow I'll go to the New Forests Memorial up near what was RF Holmesley South and uh, place this there where more people are going to see it and um, it's safe from any of the New Forest locals like those donkeys. It's the next day and I've managed to make it to the New Forest Airfields Memorial. It's a fantastic dedication to the 12 airfields that were operational in and around the New Forest during wartime. And what better place to leave the bouquet provided to me by the Free Czechoslovak Air Force Association. And we'll go have a look at that now. As you can see, it's got all these plaques to the New Forest Airfields. There's Bewley that I was at yesterday the Czechoslovak men flew from. There's also Ipsley there, Czechoslovak pilots also flew from Ipsley. And as you can see from the bottom, there's been various reefs and memorials laid for different squadrons and units by different organisations recently, including two of the bouquets for the Czechoslovak airmen.